All right, Dale here again. Um, today I'm going to I'm going to mask off and paint some of these uh, wheel components, and I'm also going to do some little odds and ends type stuff, like putting the shocks back together and uh, just a few things like that. Uh, first thing here, we got to kind of go back to grade school. Uh, these these hubs, and one interesting fact about them is uh, that they both are the same diameter. They use the same brake shoes, uh, apparently. So all I'm going to do is uh, mask off this the the drum portion so that uh, I don't get paint inside there. The rest of it isn't a big deal. You can wipe it off with thinner or whatever. But they, they measure about five and three quarters of an inch. So cutting that in half, we got about two and seven eighths. And I've already done one of these. We all used a compass in grade school, didn't we? And then we just Cut her out. Good enough. Fits in there good. And this is the one I did earlier. So those are all ready to go. I've had some kind of difficulty trying to find the right paint. I still am not real happy with it, but I've I've spent uh, quite a bit of money trying to figure out what it was. And I've tried silver, I've tried aluminum, and I'm sure that this is uh, this is an original one. And looking into this area where the speedometer goes, it looks like probably the best bet for what it was, because it was kind of hidden by that. And I don't know. I guess I'm just tired of looking and spending money on spray paint. So I went with... Uh, This is a Rust-Oleum metal finish, or metallic finish they call it, and it's 7715 aluminum. So I think I'm just going to go with it, and I, th I think it'll be okay. But, uh, you know, let's see where it ends up, see what it looks like. And grease up these bearings.
So all you got to do is just put some grease in your palm and push it into the bearing and then rotate it to make sure you, you get it all distributed in there. And if you take any of the seals out, make sure you put those back in. Not all these don't have seals on both sides. The inside of them usually doesn't have a seal. Let's get this thing put in the get the bearings put in. You got to put your spacer in on this side and go in on the other side. Make sure the uh, spacer stays centered. You just go in and get your axle, push it in there. And it ought to be centered then. it. Good to go. And we just repeat it on the uh, front one. This one doesn't matter which way the spacer goes in.
Same thing. Make sure your spacer's lined up. You're good to go. And don't forget to put your seal back in the front one. Just pops right in behind it. Your bearings are all in. The wheels are, or the hubs are painted. And let's get these shocks put back together. You've got the dust cover and centering device that goes in there. The uh, short winds at the bottom. And the dust cover. Oops. Put it in right. There we go. Got two shocks, nice painted springs, and everything's ready to bolt back on the bike. I'm preparing these spokes to be replated, and what I have discovered is these were, instead of zinc, these were nickel plated, and there is a kit that I also have from, uh, that I've used before from Caswell that uh, it's electroless, so there's no electric uh, current or anything required. It's all done chemically. And what I'm doing here is I, I'm just getting them as clean as I can uh, before I put them in a... Uh, a detergent bath for about five minutes and then they'll go into the uh, plater for uh, about 30 or 35 minutes. Now I, I haven't done these before with the uh, nickel. I've done some other small parts and they always turn out really nice. Uh, but again prep is your is the big issue here. Now one thing you want to do is you don't want to plate the threads because it'll make it impossible for you to put the uh, the nipples on. So what I do is I I put the nipples on the the spoke and then give them a good wire brushing to clean them sure you get the idea. Um, I've got some in the, my first batch. Uh, these, uh, these are the outers, I think. So uh, the inners are in there now. I'm going to pull them out in a short and see how they, how they did. And then I'll put these in.
I'll show you all the component stuff. It's a very simple kit. Like I say, there's no wires. There's no. It's just a chemical reaction that uh, you have to have uh, a hot plate. That's what I'm using, or some kind of a heater. The solution needs to be at about 195 degrees, just off boil, uh, for the plating. All right, and these are these will be for the the rear. The uh, solution that I put them in for cleaning has to be about 145 degrees. And we just stick them in there for about five to ten minutes. All right, I've got my my prepared spokes all ready here. They've got some places that corrosion had been on them. They they really don't look too bad, but they'll they should look a lot nicer. So uh, let me show you what we do. Okay, I've got a hot plate here, and uh, I've got the uh, detergent solution. And you first just put them in there, and you soak them for about. Uh, uh, five to ten minutes and then here's the plating solution also on a and there's some plastic balls in there that keeps the uh, uh, keeps it from misting out They're, they call them mist balls mist balls uh, otherwise you'd get a lot of splatter let me just look at them here oh yeah those look pretty nice let me get them out of there and get them cleaned up and uh, I'll show you what they look like. Okay, that stuff's pretty pretty nasty. Um, you should uh, wear a respirator and some safety goggles. Here's the stuff I just took out. This is in distilled water. And it's to stop the process and, of course, clean them up. So you just rinse them good. Not too bad, huh? I'll show you some before and after pictures here shortly. There's some places on it where the corrosion was. It's plated, but it's a little rougher looking. But the protection there is there for your uh, uh, for corrosion resistant from now. So let me get my other ones in and uh, then we'll show you some before and after. All right, I've, I've got the uh, spokes now out of the degreaser, the detergent bath. They've been in there about uh, five to 10 minutes and you wanna, you wanna wash them and rinse them. You don't wanna drag the uh, um, the soap into your plating mixture. Okay, now we're going to take these over and put them in the plater. And it's boiling a little bit. We're just a little bit warm. It's about two, two, four, something like that. 195. They'll cool off as we put these in. Wait on them to to cook for a while. All right, I've got the the new batch in the in the plater, and this is what we took out. This is what I just plated, and this is the rear ones that need to be plated yet. Big difference. I'd say it's a, another success. And that saves us, uh, you know, if you buy these uh, set of spokes from uh, Buchanan's, you're looking at over $100 by the time you get shipping in there. And uh, if you can even find these, 
they're probably going to cost you 50 or 60 bucks, if not a little bit more. So this is definitely, if, if, you, if your spokes aren't in too bad a shape, uh, you can save them with this. Just food for thought.